I knew about them years ago. I knew the term Borromean, but I never quite got the configuration right until I I was been making sculptures, but I was using three interla interlocking rings that appeared to be based on trefoil on the trefoil formation and knot theory and knots because I've been interested in knots for a long time, just the whole theory about them and everything else. Then I discovered through the internet, actually, the bo actual Boromean construction. I was actually, uh, finally had it figured out. And I, I realized that I could base all my sculptures with the three interlocking rings by using boramine rings because the, the interior was independent from one ring, completely independent from one from the other. And so uh, the only, uh, if, if I make three rings as a sculpture, the only force that would be a problem for me would be gravity because they would collapse and go flat. So I've uh, decided to use saddle shapes in my, in, in my sculptures, which, which gives them a, a depth. Each ring has a depth or a height. If you lay it on the ground, there'll be a height to it. In a saddle shape is one of the shapes that, that reveal that topology. And so I started doing drawings on a two-dimensional, two-dimensional plane, like a drawing but actually shows the depth and the path of each line that's interlocked. And so I've been, I've been recently totally obsessed with that and drawing by doing variations. Art, artists have been frustrated with finally going into depth about mathematical solutions, about dimension and form. And, and so we've, use some of the uh, conundrums that have been puzzling mathematicians and uh, uh, physics for many years by uh, certain shapes like the Klein bottle which has only one surface or the Mobius strip that has only one surface. The, the, um, the uh, Borromean ring is also one of those conundrums that uh, puzzle mathematicians and uh, since art is trying to distort or change that kind of space or thinking or don't understand it the well, they adapt their own methods. And so they become interesting to many artists or particularly to me. I never tied the ends of my drawings. They're based on strokes, left to right, special curves and everything related to the way I can form metal.